Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Evendim because we have to go talk to Kalinglad over here, but before we do that we have a few things to do. You may notice we have a notification and a Hobbit gift of the day, so let's see what is in that. We hopefully get something good. Let's see, a Tomid Fence. Not, not that good. Okay. Fine. <laughs> so, yeah, we also have a uh, alert, which is a new piece of mail, which is actually from myself, so I do know what it is this time. Uh, it is from my main character. Six items attached, obviously. Uh, six different items, but multiple of each item, because they are some... Uh, experience tomes or item experience uh, tome things and these are actually all from one instance which uh, yeah I just quickly did an instance I recently just changed some of my gear up and got a few of these so I've been meaning to do this for a little while I want to finally get this guy to level 60 just before we go off I don't think there's actually a, a legendary item person here because I would make wouldn't make too much sense for one to actually be here. But yeah, uh, something interesting, if you didn't know, that you can actually do with this is if I just want to go here, so number three is who I want to be going after, you can actually just drag and drop these in, uh, which is a whole lot quicker than doing it any other way uh, instead of doing this and then having to choose which one you want to go on to. So yeah, we're just going to quickly throw some experience into here. This will mean it is finally level 60. We'll be getting more XP for these three remainders and... Um, yeah, then we can already deconstruct this and hopefully get some fairly alright settings, gems, and runes. I'm hoping. I'm not expecting, like, the world out of it. I'm not really expecting it to be amazing, especially considering this is a level 52 weapon, which we have basically been uh, leveling since then. Um, but there we go. It now needs reforging, which we will do at some point. But uh, it is finally done, and I'm not going to use these actually on this stuff. I'm actually going to use these and hold off on these. Uh, for when I get a new legendary weapon, uh, which hopefully is fairly soon. I want to upgrade this sword. No, sorry, uh, this bow, as I've been talking about for a while. So that's all done. Needs reforging. Yep, and level up as well. Let's talk to Kalinglad, see what he wants us to do, and we'll get straight into that. So he wants us I to travel with him to the Flooded Ward. Okay, so it's an instancy sort of thing. Solo quest and cannot be Very completed with a fellowship. Possible. Let's go in here. The ranger Colin Glad has long stood watch over the ancient city of Anuminas in Evendem. If he is to join the Grey Company on its southern road, he will need to leave that city behind. Okay, so what's he just saying? Let us clear this place of robbers. The false king has been defeated, but followers of Angmar still remain in Anuminas. The coffers of Kandom are emptied, but those riches have bought the loyalty of these robbers. Too many relics, uh, uh, too many relics have already been uh, rescued from this pr once proud city, uh, from my city. There they are, Tarvelard, for Numinas and Nuriel. Nen, nen, it's really difficult to see when it's moving. Nenuriel. Nen, that word. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna basically be killing these robbers, I guess, for him. And then, seeing how long that takes, uh, we'll be going to Farakel after this. Still, if the rangers... Oh, wait. The coins of Angmar are wasted if this quality of riches they buy. Um, still, if rangers live for the south lands, a weak may still find it unopposed. Oh, well, we'll seem mighty if unopposed. I really cannot read these things. Let's keep moving. I am not content with leaving robbers in this city. Well, you're not really done an amazing job if this is how many there already are. I mean, I don't want to badmouth you. I'm going to badmouth the way you just walked and you went from here to here to over here to loop back. Ah. Uh. Okay. But yeah, you've not done an amazing job. I don't want to be like, yeah, bad mouthing you too much because you might not come with me, but. You know. Still. You gotta question how effective you were without me. They are no match. What uh, would that all allies. Would that all allies of Angmar were so frail? Uh, Anuminas. It stood empty for most of the age, but the Dunedain have always watched over it. Uh, can we abandon it again? It is wise to travel to the Southlands. Please don't make me have to try and convince you. Like, you know, the last person I had to do that to, I told them to go. And they were fine. Just go. That'll be good. Right. So, hopefully... I can't think this would take too long. I know uh, Numenas in itself is big, but I mean, we're in a specific area. 
of it. Um, I guess, yeah, this is the Fludge Ward. Oh, no, you do want me to talk to you first. Let's do that. Good fortune within the crypt I've heard. There are many robbers within. That's not exactly good fortune. Like, do you want people to be here? I'm going to get the tomb robbing leader on his own. I'm going to... No, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to click that. Oh, so he's now leaving me. Probably won't end up attacking anybody. <laughs> and uh, letting me take care of everybody. I see how it is. I see how it is, Conrad. Well, I'm fine without you. I don't need you. I'm cool. I'm strong. I'm gonna use Quick Shot, which I never use. Which I probably need to use it more. It just, I'm, it's really weird to move past four on the keyboard with this. I'm just so used to not doing that. I need to start going and thinking about it more. So, I think we have to do all of them. I'm assuming. It's not like he's going to be content if we leave one behind. I think I would. Like, if I left that guy behind, he's probably going to be like, Nope, they're not all dead. So, I'm not going. Nope, let's make sure we're attacking the right people. Attack the one that's attacking me. And leave the one for the moment that's not attacking me. So that I can surprise attack them. Sneak attack. You have defeated the tomb robbers and you should now examine their plunder. Here it is. Nearly went away without it. Wait until Kangla is satisfied so he can join the Grey Company. Inside the chest you see many relics stolen from an Uminus. Very good. We will return those relics to their proper places, but first I have other business here. Really? What else? Gwyndeth! I know you're there, Gwyndeth. Come forth. Gwyndeth? I think I know what he's on about. Yeah! You. My curiosity demanded I show myself, Dun Dunadan. Yeah, nothing more. Who's the elf you brought before me? I am the guy who just, yeah, took, um... Uh, care of all these guys. So basically, he's just gonna probably ask permission to leave. I think that's it. Has the time come at last for the king to assume his throne? I think it may. Come on. I'm going to use this time to quickly get a screenshot. <laughs> and then we'll be straight back. <laughs> Must ride with him to Rohan. It is my duty. Yeah, we're going to get to Rohan fairly soon, I think. There'll be trials upon the road. It is a long way to that land. Yeah, it is still quite a way away, even though I literally just said that it will be getting there fairly soon. Aww. He doesn't want to leave, uh... I think I'm an elf then. It's fine. Ooh. She's gonna reply. But what with? Short of the lives of men, even those of the Dunedain. Yeah. Uh, even proud Elendil, Elendil came in the end, and I mourned his passing, but I mourned not for, this, for a season, nor a single span of years. My grief will last for many lifetimes. And so it is, I give my love to that which can outlast the, outlast the life of a single man. Men may die, Kanglad, in seed I see death upon your road. Oh. I want him to actually come with me. You know that, right? <laughs> if, I, if through actions Aragorn takes his throne, a kingdom shall return to 
that that should have never ended and it is not worth some measure of sh and is that not worth some measure of sorrow i really should just like try and not speak these things i'm really bad at it today and every day So she lives. I will return when Aragon has regained his throne. I promise. Are you good now? Can we can we go? Are you, are you happy about that? Um, you must me, think me an old fool, Talvelard. There is no protection I can offer Gwyn, uh, Gwyndeth that she cannot manage for herself. Still, it is difficult to leave behind the people and places we hold dear. I do not want to leave without saying goodbye. Or I did not want to leave without saying goodbye. I have now done so. But it does not make the leaving any easier. So we'll finish with you. And we will return back to Evendim. Or specifically this part of Evendim outside of Anuminas. So, yeah, you're going to come help there. us, correct? Uh, I just want to quickly check. Does that... No, that just takes me to where Lothran uh, Lothrandir is. Um, I think what I might do is I might do a fate... Because fate is always useful. Um, Forica, we can travel there ourselves. Uh, we should have a travel skill there. Uh, we do. And it shouldn't be too far a travel, I don't think. If, uh, if we really need to do that. So, let's do that. And then the next one is actually to Angmar after that. Okay. So, we need to talk to Lothrande in, uh, in exactly the place we need to go. Or we have the quick travel or swift travel or whatever guide to skill. Uh, for which is great. So we don't actually have to travel all that far. So it's definitely not worth us getting that uh, Map to help out. Obviously if you're not a hunter and you don't really care about like tier 4 legacies too badly I think they're tier 4. Are they not? Yeah um, Then I guess, you know, fair enough to you. So He is right there. I found him. That was easy. Some mysterious and we need to talk to him and help him find the Screaming Shadow. So where is the Screaming Shadow? Solo quest, and you can uh, cannot be completed with a fellowship. The Ranger Lothrandir has knowledge of the southern lands through which the Grey Company must pass. But he will only take that road once he is certain the Lossoth of Forachel are free of danger. Alright. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say... Uh, we'll do this one, I think. That'll take up a majority of our time, because the, uh, these seem to be big sort of time... Uh, take, a, take a little bit of time to do these, and uh, we'll do this one, then we'll probably end off for the episode. And then we're going to go to Angmar next episode, it seems. So that'll be fun. But yeah, uh, let's talk to you. And we need to explore the enormous cavern with Lothrandir. So I'm going to follow him. I'm assuming it is down. Um because that's probably the way we came in. It would make sense. And we have to take care of these bears. Okie dokie. Now these bears don't have bows, so that's fine. Like, tomb robbers may have. If they can hit me from range, then they're, they're more scary than if they can only hit me melee. Because I can just run away otherwise. Alright. So, these guys, yeah, sh as, a, as an overall thing, shouldn't actually be too big a deal. Uh, I don't think they're too scary. Um, and too big a, like, difficulty to kill. They are five levels below us, so, yeah. Ice hinders our visibility. What threats may conceal? May conceal. I don't know. Maybe that right there. <laughs> it doesn't conceal you very well, does it? At least slightly. Now, let's just try and not get lost. I feel like that's what's going to happen here at some point. So we have this area, which looks like it might be difficult. There's a fissure in the ice, ice ahead. So are we going that way or are we going that way? Let's have a look. What do you want us to do? Find the screaming shadow within the massive cavern. Um, cross the fissure and continue search. I will continue exploring this direction. So I'm going to follow this direction and he's going to go up there, it seems. That's fine. Um, so it's more of a, again, like we're kind of glad, uh, go, going solo a little bit. We also just made back one of those heritage runes I used earlier. That's nice. So I can't travel that way. There's a bear over here, which was very obvious. Don't know if he was really trying uh, 
So this is not exactly anywhere I can go. Am I gonna have to go? I I can't get across here. That'll kill me most likely. That enemy. And having a look around here, it looks like this is what used to be a path. Does this go down? Ah, it does. There we go. I thought it would just be a cavern, at which point I was be like, nah, there's no, no point. But no, looks like this might be a way of getting over across that fissure that wasn't uh, with a way across. These guys are fairly easy. All right. I think that's good. Chunk of pick rock salt. Pink rock salt. Or rather, take you out. I got a Kazard still bound blue box. Oh, that's nice. What level are those? A eh? level 60? Yeah, level 60. I think if I'm gonna do that, I probably wanna hold off until level 70 since we're so close. Um, but then we've gotta get to the level 70 areas before they're gonna start dropping because they drop from enemies of that level. So, uh, yeah. Also, I feel like most of the time I'm gonna transfer any sturdy steel keys I have slash get which I don't think I have any on me at all at the moment uh, because I pressed the wrong button uh, because I want to be transferring them over to my main because I want to get uh, I want to try and get to 100 I want to try and get to 100 and do 100 Anorian loot boxes or if they bring out a level 110 version uh, when Mordor comes out I don't know why I'm looking at the map as if that's going to help me. Uh, but if they do a like level 110 for Mordor, because uh, the new level cap is supposed to be 115, um, and they do them in increments of obviously uh, 10s, because obviously there's no 105, and there probably won't be a 115. So is that the way I came up? This is the way I came up, right? I don't know. I'm I've lost track of <laughs> what I was what I was doing. Got to come up here, I think. I assume. Um, but yeah, there'll probably be a 110, if not I'll stay with the 100s, but I want to try and unbox 100 of them. I think that'll be an interesting video to have a look at. Oh, this looks like we're reaching a camp of some sort. Oh, Gun Ain. Okay. It's a camp of sorts. I'm gonna get ready to attack just in case. A young girl crouches by a ragged campsite. Could this be the Screaming Shadow? Gun Ain's Feral Rage. Gun Ain is filled with rage born of desperation. Plus 25% run speed and minus 50% attack duration. I wish I could have that. That would be cool. Learn the history of the mysterious girl. Who are you? I'm uh, Tarvelad. This is my home. The only home I have left. Oh. He appeared. <laughs> Tarvelad, what have you found? Uh, Gun Ain. Uh, she was sat here this entire time. Stay back, intruders. I don't know. I, I kind of am an intruder. Who are you? What are you doing in this place? What are you doing in this area? And this far in as well. I am no one. No, you're Gun Ain. My people cast me out. There is no place for me in Angmar. So you're from Angmar. They even took my name from me. So you have no name. Okay. I once was once a there, but no longer. I am now Gunain. Do we know a there? Gunain without name. Oh. I was assuming that was once you said I have no name that that translates to something like that. now I wonder stealing scraps to survive. All that is left to me is anger. Do we know her? If she's saying her name, I feel like it will kill me. I'm pressing all the wrong keys. Gun Ain falls to the icy ground, exhausted and defeated. That was quick. Stay your hand, have I I will put away my weapon as well. Uh, listen to me, Gun Ain. You've said I'm out. This we know, and it has gone from uh, and it's gone badly for you since you were cast from your clan. You cannot steal from the loss of as you have done. You must find a new home, or you will die here among the ice and the snow. No, uh, none would mourn you, no name, if you perished as you are. We will do you no more harm. Swear to me that you will leave these lands of the loss of and seek an honest living somewhere else or elsewhere. This mercy is yours today. Do not throw it away. If you continue to trouble the people of Varakel, you will find that my heart has exhausted its pity. Listen to Lothlandia make his decision. Do you swear it, Gun Ain?
I will leave you this bag of food. It will last until you have begun to remake your life. How nice of you. Leave me. Leave this place. Uh, let's leave this place. Gunnam will have to find somewhere to make an honest living. Somewhere she will not hinder the loss of. She will find a more forgiving place to live, or she will die in the harsh place. Others who serve Angmar would not even have. Uh, others who served Angmar would not even have that chance. And there we go. Will now be able to Scroll of Renewal. Gunnay's life is her own I now. Whether it is long or short will depend on the choices she makes. If she spurns our help and continues to new if she spends our help and continues to harass the Lost Hope, it will be short indeed. Perhaps she will find a way to leave her trouble past behind. It is hope she will do so. For others, uh, for otherwise, she will perish alone and without name, which she grieves. You have done as I asked, and now the Lost Hope will be able to bring in their rightful prey without interference. I will do my duty as I said I would. I will join the Grey Company on the South Road. You must travel then to Ohio. 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 I call it Orkia. Okay, uh, so now we need to go do it there, and that will give us 250 marks and 25 medallions. I feel like that's the end then of what it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what we're going to do in the next episode. Go to there, which we have a travel skill for, which is great. And uh, get some marks and medallions, which is quite nice. But yeah, I feel like I... I feel like we must have, like, come across... There, I think if I remember correctly, there was some... Maybe it's... Maybe it's something like I haven't done a certain quest... Uh, on this character, but I swear... There was something when I originally went through here... Where she said... Something about, like... Something being my fault. It's really kind of blurry in my mind. Because it was years ago. Um... Or at least, you know, quite a long while ago that I did it. Um, but I, I, can, I swear, either this quest or another, where something was like, is your fault. Uh, maybe it's another quest. I'm not sure, but there's got to be something. I'll look it up later. Um, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a case of I've not done a specific side quest, and that's why it, nothing was said. Or it might just be that I'm remembering wrong things or another quest entirely. But either way, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.